gonna spill all the tea girls I'm gonna spill all the tea hey guys it's Alyssa Marie here welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome I'm so happy to have you here I'm so excited for today's video this has been one of my number one requested videos and it's gonna be all about my recent diva curl experience so I recently just got a little shape up slash trim and not only did I get the chance to learn a little bit more about diva curl and how their products work but I also got to learn some really cool natural hair techniques that really have just been, oh, it's just been magical for my hair. My curls have never looked this good before. So I'm really excited to share with you guys everything that I learned. So without further ado, let's get on into it. All right, so if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I just recently did a trip to the West Coast. I visited LA for BeautyCon and then went over to San Francisco for a few days. So amazing, I absolutely love the West Coast, y'all. So right up until like maybe a week before I left for my trip, I started to get like super frustrated with my hair. It was growing and I was really happy for the growth, but then I was noticing that there was like a crazy amount of frizz that like nothing was helping it. Some frizz is a good thing because it gives you that volume, you know? But too much frizz just looks crazy. So. I was just getting really frustrated, nothing was helping me with my hair and I just I just didn't understand what I was doing wrong. But no products were helping with my frizz and so it made me start to realize that maybe I need a trim. So I big chopped back in December and hadn't gotten a trim since. So in July I was like, oh shit, it's been seven months and I haven't trimmed my hair at all. I know the main goal has been to grow it, but in order to grow it, you do need to trim it along the way so it can be healthy and flourish and all of that good stuff. So I figured with my trip coming up, why not research a curly hairstylist in the area that I'm gonna be in and just go ahead and get it trimmed over there. So what I did was go on the Diva Curl website and they have this cool little thing where you can type in your zip code and you can find whatever Diva Curl certified hairstylists are in your area. I really do trust Diva Curl. I really like their method. I just feel like they genuinely care about the health of your curls. I also did my big chop with a Diva Curl hairstylist so I'm kind of just partial to Diva Curl hairstylist. So I did my research and found a Diva Curl certified hairstylist who was just out Side of San Francisco in El Granada. So the hairstylist that I found is Monica and she owns and operates A&M Hair Studio. So when it comes to being Diva Curl certified, there are three different levels. So three is like the top level of certification that you can get from Diva Curl. And so Monica was actually the top level, which I was really excited about. And when I saw that Monica was like specifically certified for more textured hair, like mine, I was like, you know what, done. I'm calling her, I'm making an appointment, and she's gonna help me sort my life out. So glad I did. I was nervous. It's always nerve wracking when you're going to new hairstylists, like especially for curly girls. Like it's it's difficult. It's really, really difficult to find someone that you trust and someone who's not gonna mess up your curls. I have absolutely no regrets. So 10 out of 10 recommend if you are in the San Francisco area or anywhere nearby El Granada, I absolutely 100% would recommend her and I'm about to tell you why. I'll also link her details down below so if you want to get in touch with her then you can do that. So when I got there, Monica just sat me down in the chair and I really liked that before she even started doing anything to my hair, she just sat me down and had like a super quick consultation and just asked me, you know, what I wanted, what was my aim. What, was, what were my frustrations, you know, like what did I want to get out of this appointment? Honestly guys, I was so frustrated with my hair at the point that I told her like I wasn't sure whether I just wanted to just cut it back super short like how I had it before so I wouldn't have to deal with the frizz anymore or if she could just find a way to help me with my frizz. Like I was just really, really frustrated. I told her, you know, like the idea is to grow it out. Like I would love to grow it out, but I'm really struggling with the frizz and that I just need her help with that. But in the end, she just convinced me that I just need to shape it up and it'll all be fine. And she'll, you know, she'll help me out with the frizz and show me a few techniques. So I was like, all right, just set me up, trim me, do whatever, let's go. 
So once we decided that we were just gonna go with the trim, she went ahead and started trimming my hair dry. After we finished cutting, she then washed my hair and styled it. And I told her that I really hadn't used Diva Curl in my hair much. I wanted to learn more about the products and how they work, like how to get them to work properly. Cause I know it's a hit or miss for some people. Like you either love Diva Curl or you hate it. And I just feel like I really wanted to just get a real grasp on the products and just how they work. So because I expressed such an interest, Monica was like super detailed in each step. You know, she was showing me not only how to use each product, but like techniques that I could use with any product that helps to like seal in moisture and define the curls and just make them look happy and healthy. So I was really, really happy with how in depth she got and I'ma spill all the tea, girls. I'ma spill all the tea. So first she started by washing my hair with a no poo. I noticed that she just kind of focused more on my scalp area. And then after the no poo, she went into the Heaven and Hair Mask, which is life, life. It's probably my favorite product out of all of them, I think. It's between that and the gel. But anyways, she went in with the Heaven and Hair Mask in my hair and just started to comb it through my hair. Now this is one of the techniques that I am so thankful to have learned. It might seem like something super simple, but honestly it's been like a night and day kind of thing for my curls. So what I was doing before, you may have seen in my other videos, I was using a Denman brush. Whenever I had conditioner in my hair while I was in the shower, I would use a Denman brush to comb out my curls. Turns out that that is what was causing all of my frizz. I don't know what it was about the Denman brush and my hair, but for me, it just personally didn't work for my hair. So I would say if you're experiencing frizz and you're using that and you just don't understand why you're getting frizz, maybe try giving up your Denman brush and instead finger detangling your hair in the shower. And while you're using your fingers to comb through your hair, you're almost trying to like smooth the product through your hair. And the more you finger detangle, the more smoother your hair will start to feel. She also pointed out to me that Diva Curl products are actually water soluble. So you don't need to use a ton of products, it's actually activated by water. So you can use a little bit of product and then add some more water to your hair and then continue to finger detangle your hair which will help to get the product evenly distributed and then boom curls popping. The goal is to get your hair feeling as smooth as possible with all the conditioner in it. So if you're in the shower and your hair already feels frizzy like or like just you know not as smooth while the conditioner is in it then you've got to keep going and just smoothing and combing that product through your hair. So another thing she taught me is that you don't need to wash all of the conditioner out. Another super simple technique but honestly has made a world of a difference for my curls. Your aim is just to have that water that's bringing out of your hair look like slightly milky. That way you know you've got like the perfect amount of conditioner and water in your hair to just get that moisture to stay. My hair absolutely loves it. It has never looked more moisturized before. I do wanna caution you on leaving too much conditioner in there because then your curls might look a little bit weighed down and might cause a little bit of buildup. So I would say err on the side of leaving less conditioner in there than more. Um, but honestly, it's like, Again, I can't even say it enough, this has changed the game for my curls. So right after the deep conditioner, she then began to style my hair like immediately. So this would be the third technique that I learned from her, which is styling my hair when it is absolutely drenched. That has also made a huge difference. I've actually started keeping like one and two products inside my shower, so like on wash day, I can just apply it right then and there. Right after the Heaven and Hair mask, she went straight, I mean like straight in with the Believe-In Miracle Curl Plumper. She actually combed that through my hair a little bit as well, so she said that that would help to seal in the conditioner that was already kind of sitting in my hair. And then after that, we went in with the Super Cream Coconut Curl Styler, and then went in with the Archangel Gel. So once all the styling products were in, she had me flip my head over and then she kind of just scrunched my curls with her hands like so. 
and it made like, it was so wet, like it made like this like squishing noise. That is when you're gonna get the ultimate curl definition that you're really looking for. So after scrunching my hair with her hands, she then grabbed the Diva Curl microfiber towel and then began to scrunch my hair with the towel just to get it a little bit drier before I sat underneath the dryer. And this is actually another major key. Don't ever use a cotton towel on your hair. That is also like a huge cause of dry, frizzy hair. So if you like to towel dry your hair, I would 110% suggest you get a microfiber towel. So that's pretty much it for the styling. Um, I went under the dryer and just kind of let the dryer do its thing. Then once I came out, she kind of fluffed up my hair a little bit. Another really cool technique is that she didn't like use a pick to kind of fluff out my hair. You know like when you first wash your hair on that day one, on wash day, it's not as fluffy as you want it to be. Um, so she said like instead of using a pick, she used like, you know those cute little, those long Chinese chopsticks? She used one of those and started to fluff up my hair. So like, let me, I'm gonna give you a little example of what she did, but I don't have a Chinese chopstick, so I'm gonna use my makeup brush. So she kind of just went in and went curl by curl and just started fluffing it up. So that technique kind of eliminates the frizz because you're doing it curl by curl instead of like going at it with a pick. So yeah, just another cool thing that I learned from my Diva Curl experience. In the beginning, I didn't think the Diva Curl products were for my hair. I thought it was more for looser curls. And honestly, like I'd never ever seen my curls look so healthy and so happy. So all in all, as you can tell, I was over the moon with my Diva Curl experience. It was the best experience and I will continue to go to Diva Curl certified hairstylist. I really hope that you guys can maybe try some of these techniques and I hope that it can work for you as well. That's the whole point of me coming on hair and sharing with you guys everything that I've learned because I left the salon feeling so excited and feeling in love with my curls again because I was honestly just so frustrated. Like I totally and 110% understand what it feels like to be at that point where you're so frustrated with your hair. You either want to cut it off or go back to the creamy crack and it's just, it's just a breath of fresh air when you can figure out like a technique or a product or both that work for your hair. It just, you just feel like a brand new person. So that's the point of this video. Like I really wanted to just share everything in the hopes that this would too help you fall in love with your curls as well. I wanted to know that this video is in no way sponsored by Diva Curl at all. I'm just sharing my honest opinion with you. So yeah, that's it for this video guys. I hope you found it super useful. Just go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so that you can keep up with me and my natural hair journey. And we can go through this together sis. We can do this together. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!